And we're back. Uh, a couple small items just to check out. Uh, like an idiot, a week and a half ago, I was leaving Home Depot and I put down my prescription Ray Bans somewhere and I lost them. So I have no sunglasses. I have to make an appointment and go see the optometrist and get a new exam and <sighs> somehow <coughs> grab a new pair of prescriptions. So in the meantime, I wanted a decent pair of cheap glasses that didn't break the bank or went nuts uh, that were also ballistic rated that I could go to the range with for now. I won't be seeing as clear as I should be, but uh, at least my eyes will be protected. So this I already started to open and then I stopped and said, yeah, might as well throw it on the other video. Um, it's some company called uh, Venture Gear Tactical. I ordered, uh, th these are the ODG ones, and I ordered a pair of grays. They're $19.99, so they don't cost much. And they look decent. The reviews were pretty good. And, you know, they, they're supposedly rated. And they're anti-fog, and they're ballistic rated. So they claim. Uh, let me try these on. Well, it's something. <laughs> I don't even know if they suit my face or not, but better than nothing, right? In the Florida sun. So, uh, all right, that's cool. Cheap. If you lose those, you don't give a shit, you know? Uh, and this is uh, the Grey Dude, Cobra Tech. This just showed up today. I didn't really need this, per se. I just... Uh, you know, I like my gray stuff these days. This is the PCM in the new run that Roger did in gray. So I thought, I know the cloud defensive, the wiring is pretty, uh, yeah. let me safety check that. We're good. All right. So on the cloud defensive, Wiring is pretty much takes care of itself, but I grabbed it anyway just because I like dimples. I don't know. Uh, what size are you? You are hex. Now, is there enough space here for that bad boy? I wonder. Will that just fit? I don't know if I'm going to route wires to it or just... Oh, that does look sexy, doesn't it? Look at <laughs> Look at that. Roger, you are the man. Let me grab my, uh, one of my trusty little tools here. Uh, what size are you? Nope. Mm, nope. Is, is that it? Just get it on there for now. All right, so it doesn't really accomplish a lot for me. The wiring is pretty much stabilized anyway. But I wanted a touch of gray, a little more duck sauce on there, and it looks fantastic. And when I'm gripping, I guess it adds a bit of heat protection. It just looks cool. There we go, FCD, thank you, Roger. Uh, cheapo ballistic sunglasses, better than nothing. These are the so-called ODG, although they don't really look... Oh, okay, yeah, there's the ODG. Uh, for 20 bucks, they seem pretty solid. They claim to be anti-fog, which is a ma major problem I have. It's Florida, and you're, you're shooting, everything fogs up on you. So I'll give these a whirl. For 20 bucks, it's a no-brainer. If they hold together... For a few months, six months at least, I mean, it's you got your money's worth. They look decent. Oh, they even have a little anti-slip type of material here. So that it's not sliding all over your face. I think these might be a good find, a good win. Once again, these are uh, Venture Gear. Amazon. Mill PRF 32, 4, 432 High Impact Ballistic Rated. Venture Gear Tactical Overwatch. Anti-weather fog. 
uh, all weather anti fog, scratch resistant, ballistic rated, independently tested. 20 bucks. So, you know, includes microfiber cleaning bag. Oh, it does. Hey, that's not bad for 20 bucks, man. Where's the where's the cleaning bag? All right, it's just a cheapo little bag, but whatever, better than nothing. Microfibers get dirty and oily after a while, so it's always good to have some spares around. All right, see, it comes with a little bag. And you can clean it. Cool. Well, short and sweet. A little fun. Adds a little more gray to the gray man build. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll go over to the window and look at my newest edition. It's not, it's really gray, but they had a gray one, but I picked up the Maximum Steel Metallic because it's, it's gray, but it's got a touch of blue. Kind of changes color as you look at it when you walk around. That's my new baby. My Ram, big Ram Diesel. That should be fun. I have a new channel I started. For the truck just to keep you know the gun stuff separate from the stupid dj stuff and the uh, now the new truck stuff so it's my first diesel it's my first adventure into diesel ownership there's a learning curve that fluid stuff and all that i'm learning that the exhaust options aren't like a gasser where you can't just have the muffler cut off and throw on a flow master uh so that's a bit of a bummer so i'm gonna have to figure out a way to make it sound cooler but for now i'm just gonna enjoy the new vehicle and uh Gonna enjoy my that does look fucking good roger you are the man right when i'm getting into gray he drops a, a limited run on the on the gray pcms and i'd say that sun's build is looking mighty fine gentlemen i don't know it's time to get back to the range and do some shooting we'll drive in the new truck very soon and it's a mega cab so i can fit both of these rifle bags with room to spare behind the seat which is really awesome oh I haven't unboxed this yet. This is the uh, that's the Bug Assault Camo Fly 2.5. Insects are a problem. I'm going to go mercenary on those bitches. Yeah, and ain't going to see what hits them. Don't mess with Jake Merica, that's for sure. And salt is an affordable ammunition resupply. So, I'm Jake Merica. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, you have a wonderful day. Peace out.